Okay, so here we have a 1978 Yamaha SG500 in black. I uh, gave this one a 7 out of 10. It does have some wear on it. We'll call it good condition. Uh, it has some scratches, some dings, uh, wear in the back, just plenty of wear throughout. And then it has, uh, we don't have the pit guard for it, so it has the holes from where the pit guard goes right on these two spots. Uh, comes with a bag. Bag has a little bit of wear on it, uh, but it does work great. I'll give you some of the specs on this one. The weight on this one is 9 pounds 2 ounces. It has a, uh, what I'm going to call a slim taper neck. Um, I'll give you the caliper measurements. The nut width is 1.71 inches. The depth at the first fret is 0.82 inches. The depth at the 12th fret is 0.97 inches. Um, it has the original pickups, rosewood fingerboard. Let's check it out. Yeah, so right off the bat, like I said, we can see the little extra holes from the pit guard right there. And then just various scratches and dings throughout. The fingerboard looks good on this one, and the frets are perfect, there is no wear. Uh, this guitar does have a replaced nut. I've also gone through and set it up, plays great. You can see the replaced nut on there, not a huge deal. Front of the guitar, just scratches and dings. Flip this one over. The biggest wear on this is on the front, is right there at least. And in the back, we do have some wire as well. Uh, there's our serial number, made in Japan. Yamaha tuning keys. Back of the headstock is good though. No cracks, no breaks or repairs. Back of the neck does have just a little bit of wear on it. Really an awesome guitar though. Definitely a player's guitar for sure wanted to get like a basically an SG2000 but considerably cheaper this would do the job. Uh, back of the guitar we do have some wear in the back you can see it just all over the majority of it is not around this area. We'll go ahead and get this one flipped over. And there we have it on that one, 1978 Yamaha SG500.